Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, apologies for the shadows and the darkness. Yay! Uh, we've had two beautiful days here in the UK, and then today it's decided to thunder and lighten and really, really stormy weather. And it started raining about an hour and a half ago, and it's still raining. So, yeah. Uh, Millie doesn't like thunder, so she's hanging around me. Um, she's all right in a basket at the moment, so fingers crossed she'll be okay. Scotty in the craft room. Da 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 da. Having the snooze, just Scotty. Little Millie, moo moo. Uh, but I can't really have her on my knee while I'm doing this. So, if you remember, uh, this uh, bee wreath that I got from dpclubs.com, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous, I have now finished. I did say, because I got uh, a sealer from DP Clubs in the same um, package, that we would use their sealer on their product and see how it turned out. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at this, because it is absolutely, look at that, I love it. It is gorgeous, the colours and everything thing and the sparkle oh yeah we can get some sparkle look so yeah i was interested to see how the honeycomb would turn out if you remember because the honeycomb is like all these um like gold just standard um gems around it and then all these semispheres all these like um full gold color uh, little rounds all in between and it's all around here and all up here and i just think the bees have come out stunning look at that with those colors and the eyes it really comes to life they look like big bees the only thing i have changed is that the middle of the wings was supposed to be um a gold color and a different i think no it wasn't that color it was a slightly different gold color to the other gold tones on the um on the wreath and i just i've just put some twinklers in because i thought the uh, wings would look better with like a transparent color on them because wings are quite transparent aren't they i thought they would look too heavy um with the gold color on them so that's all i've changed we have got the hot pink in the corner as well which is wonderful but i just love all the different way the legs and everything on the bees are going and this one's got his head buried look he's um in a plant so we don't actually see the head on that one but yeah it's just so so pretty and we'll definitely be going, oh, we've got an extra gem there. That's uh, one that I've dropped and couldn't find. So we'll just take that one off. So, yeah, we're going to have a go to sealing this one. Um, sadly, it is one that, oh, there's another gem there. Look, I must have had a right spilly time <laughs> doing this one. You wouldn't expect anything else from me, would you? Uh, but, yeah, it is sticky all over the whole canvas. It's not just where the items are. It is literally the whole thing so if you put this up without putting any sealer on it um then any household dust or fluff or like in our case dog hair uh, will end up stuck to your canvas and i don't want that uh, it has got your two little holes either side which is how i know which way up it goes <laughs> for hanging it and we do get your little chain as well but i'm probably not going to use the chain um because i like to actually have them on the wall rather than dangling down i, I don't know it's just this real thing i think it's the hanger that you put the chain on that I hang it from that i don't like seeing i like those to be covered up so much as I don't mind having them on a chain, I prefer them to actually be stuck flat onto the wall. Now, we do need to take the cover off this one. Uh, ooh. <laughs> that was me. I've got something under my desk I've just knocked over. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, it has got a cover, transparent cover on the back that we just need to take off. If I can just get a bit started. Oops. Yeah, if you feel these and they feel a little bit rough, then they have got a cover. Most of them do come with like a dust and scratch cover on. Oh, I can't get this started. Hang on. Let me try a different spot. I'm doing this set at an angle as well, so that doesn't help. But usually you can just get your tweezers just under it. There it is. Once it starts. Oh, and I love this noise. Apologies if you don't like it. I love this noise. Let's peel it all off. Here. 
this one has got a little bit scorched edges um, where the laser has uh, but caught it slightly because the lasers are really, really hot, as you probably know. So they do sometimes catch, you can see on the edges of there, but that has taken most of it off. But to be honest, I think it quite adds to this with it being like um, a beehive, as it were. But now look, all these little gems here look like they're completely floating and your bees look like they're floating and this one particularly look you can't see exactly how he's fastened on as such i know he's got his wing here but i just stay uh, love it okay right pop that in the bin so we'll put the uh, sealer on and then i'm going to put away some of the gems and i do have another project as well that i want to seal with this sealer while i've got it out and then we'll put away those gems as well so yay a sealing the kitten down video right where did i put my lid there it is look make sure that's put away <laughs> okay so this sealer uh was three pound 99 it's 120 mil and it says place uh, hang on please oh hang on let me get me magnifier that would be easier liz just one second right sorry you might just get a little bit of glare please squeeze out the right amount sorry please squeeze out the right way weight please note do not over squeeze the purpose of this step is to ensure that all diamonds are flat and locked tight to the canvas after that apply the sealer evenly to your diamond painting surface sealer will go on white at first and look a bit like glue but it will become transparent as it dries then leave it to dry and wait at least 30 minutes to fully cure right so that's good then because some of these sealers come and they're actually uh, transparent or fully clear and then i can't see where i've put them so that's no good for me <laughs> right so it's in the lid we've got a spike there to reseal it or oh, things are still moving and it has got uh, a little hole in the top there so we need to load up a little bit first it says not to squeeze it much now it did say put it on with a brush didn't it evenly to your diamond painting surface oh no it doesn't say use a brush so right so let's just uh try and get this going with these anything like this you get pens and all sorts like this you need to sort of like well charge it up i suppose uh get the glue coming down i maybe should have left it upside down for a while before i started using it just let me double check actually is there a sealer on the top of this oh no that's all right then <laughs> I just had this horrible thought that there's me trying to get it out and there's a little cap on there and then things can go disastrously wrong. But no, there is no sealer, so that's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to start in the middle here. Hope this doesn't take any gems off. It shouldn't because it's a really good stick on here. Let's uh, just squeeze it out. If you're not sure with anything like this, you can always, if you've got a messy mat or a glass mat or anything like that, just squeeze it out onto your mat first. I suppose really I ought to do that, hadn't I? Um, let me just use this bag because I don't want to uh, mess my mat up because I know me I'll lean in it or something. Oh, this is taking a while to come through. Let me have a look. All right, I'll just get my pokey tool out to uh, just give it uh, a hand. It's just like a spike um on the end of uh, like a pen uh, stylus uh yeah and i'll just pop that just down there yeah it's definitely fully open so right let's give that another go then pop that over there and let's try again oh look oh right okay that's a lot that's come out okay shouldn't have squeezed that hard so yeah i try i do these things so yeah you know what's going on and uh, you don't have to do these silly mistakes that i make so i'll try and use a bit of this so i'm just gonna now it says it goes on white but i can't see that it is going on white it looks very very clear to me so i'm gonna start at this b here and i do need to cover the whole of the canvas um yeah i'm not overly there's a lot of bubbles i don't want bubbles in my canvas i did do some coasters at christmas if you remember i did a mammoth sailing at christmas 
just give those gems a wipe off. So I'm just hoping that this goes on okay. So I am used to using the sealer and putting it on with a brush. It is just a case of making sure you cover the whole thing. And I don't really want to go over the same bit, but I can't really see where I'm going. I can't, is it just me? I can't see that this is going on white. Can you see this is going on white? I think this is going on clear. <laughs> okay, so we'll just, if I just go up and down a little bit. I don't I say, I don't want to put too much on. I do like the idea of the sponge because it is quite delicate and hopefully it's not going to take the gems off um, and it possibly will take any spare gems off like the ones that I've found that uh, shouldn't have been on. It is just sort of like squishing around the edge of the gems. So that's really, really good. So I don't think really you're supposed to go over it. I think that's the mistake I made um, when I was doing the coasters at Christmas. I think I'm, I went over and then I went back over. And by going back over, I think I took some of the sealer off. So we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, this sponge, oh, you can see, look. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, we're getting the shapes. Oops, hang on. You can just sort of see the indents of the gems as I'm going through. So I'm definitely putting it all the way to the bottom, which is what I need to do because uh, all those um, sticky bits in between need covering over. And um, we'll just cover that bit there. Yeah, it needs a good even coverage. Make sure you get your edges all done. Oh, grab the way bags. Should have moved those, shouldn't I? All right. So I think all that's done. Uh, yeah it's best if you are sealing just really to put one coat on um if you start putting more than one coat on a seal on a canvas or a project you can find that then you start getting a layer and quite a thick layer of like a gloss over the top and that can start make, making things dull because you, then you're just getting the reflection of the actual thickness of the gloss whereas what you want is a thin coating over the top that keeps them in place um, and then they still shine out from underneath if you get my meaning so yeah <laughs> so mm, quite uh, quite therapeutic this it's like um, working in a post office you know bump 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 when you're uh, doing stamping and things or is that just me? <laughs> I always wanted a post office kit when I was a child. Yeah, I, was, uh, I liked the idea of being behind a little counter. <laughs> All right, let me just lift up and see where I am. I think I'm okay. Yeah, you can sort of see where you've been. But yeah, this hasn't gone on white, so I'm not quite sure why it says it goes on white. Maybe it's like a generic label and they've put it on the wrong one. Because as I say, the clear just confuses me. But uh, in some ways, this is a little bit easier. Um, just sort of like dabbing. In other ways, um, it's not quite as fast because once I get going with my brush, I can uh, get things done quite quickly. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit like diamond painting quite therapeutic but this uh, bottle is quite heavy as well <laughs> so it is uh, sort of getting my arm I'm doing my arm exercises I won't be having bingo wings after doing this for a long time yeah <laughs> oh I might as well use my pokey tool now I was going to get my black plastic tweezers out but I don't need to uh, I'm not squeezing at all I am just allowing it to come out and hopefully giving it a cover just getting it in between all those bits okay so yeah it is just a case of dabbing right over the top so hopefully by the time we've put uh, the gems away this will then be more or less cured and um, dry so that we can have a look at it and see how well we've done and because it is sticky all over we will be able to tell whether we have done all the pieces because i can just put my finger on it and if it's still sticky i've missed a bit and if it isn't sticky then i have 
Oh dear. Right, you know what I mean anyway. Just give that a little bit of a squeeze again. Just make sure we've got some coming through. Sort of giving a stipple effect. So we'll see where we end up. Do you know, I really want to just keep going. I'm quite enjoying this. Let me just wipe off some of the excess from these big gems. Um, you can go around with a lint three a lint free cloth or with um, a dry baby wipe and just take off any excess from your bigger gems but uh, yeah because I don't want too much on those they don't need it because basically when you're sealing it you're actually going in between the gems and sealing the gems together rather than actually coating the gems you don't need to put the sealer really on top of the gems you are just putting um like grouting tiles and things you are just really doing that so i think i've got that just about done okay so we'll just put that lid back on a second and we'll move this one out the way i should have moved all my bags and everything you know what i'm like i'm so eager to get on with what i'm doing that i don't prepare properly do i <laughs> But yeah, I think that's set properly done. Okay, so let's just, where can I put it now? I've got that many things all over the place at the moment, just for a change. The other thing I've got to seal, and DP Clubs do sell these, is my May sign. Oh, and I've not finished him off, look, right. I just want a very pale pink to go on his nose. Um just got a bag out from a kitten down that I've done so I'll just quickly put these on again apologies for the shadow uh, yeah oh have I got enough gems there five yes I have so let me just grab a tray I'll just put these in here okay yeah what they tend to do with these gnomes that I'm not wholly keen on um is they put um they put any skin tone as like an ambery orange colour and I prefer it as just a pale pink. I mean, it's personal choice. It's just me being picky. So I'm just going to put these uh, little pink ones on before I seal it. Again, these are another canvas that for whatever reason, they've decided when they do them um, to put them sticky all over look it is literally sticky all over so again if you don't seal it you're going to end up with bits stuck to it and if you take it down to put it away for next year and you forget to cover it over with something then it's going to stick to whatever you put on top of it which is uh, yeah one of my really good tricks that i do so that's those there all right just pop that out of the way okay and we're going to use this uh, I've just put my hand in it. Lovely Liz, just what you needed to do. Just cover yourself in sealer. So we'll start at this end and work our way across. Okay, actually for these that are um, full uh, full coverage of the sticky, I'm wondering if it might work better because you do tend to, when you put the sealer on with the brushes, get the brush strokes. So maybe this is better. It could be. You never know. Let me just give it another bit of a squidge. Yeah, that's it. Just make sure it's coming out because I've had it stood upright again. And yeah, I am quite liking this, although I, I don't know. The jury's out. We'll see. I'll see how this dries and see if it does put a texture on this background because this background is really supposed to be clear. Um, so that you can just see through it so it looks like you've just got lots of gems stuck on your wall oh let me just straighten that one up i don't want that one that's it but if this works better then i will possibly on these um things use it because i have got all my 12 months to do yeah i can see it's leaving sort of a bit but we'll see how it dries Maybe I don't need to press so hard. I am a very hard presser. I used to be the same with writing. I used to go through pencils like there was no tomorrow when I was at school, you know, when you're writing because I just used to press so hard and I was forever breaking them. And it's a habit I've tried to get out of and I just can't, so. Right, okay, so that's that one done as well. Uh, once it's dried, it will go on the wall. And, okay. So we've got a little bit of texture. It's like sponged texture, actually. Hmm, 
Oh, it is a little bit white, look. If you see, sort of, can, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. It has gone on sort of a white colour, but we've got more of a texture there. So we'll see how that one dries as well. Now I've got things that are drying all over the place. <laughs> and I have to put them out of the way of myself because I'm so clumsy. Right. Okay, so we'll put that back on. And I don't think we've hardly used any. It didn't feel any lighter. So I think that will probably last quite a while. So that's uh, their sealer. Okay, let me put my messy glass mat out of the way as well. And let me just throw this away because it's got sticky on it. Put it in the bin and put some uh, paper over the top. Is that sticky? A little bit. No, that's all right. Put that one away as well. And we didn't need our brushes. I got my brushes out just in case. But I think that might have worked okay. So pop those out of the way over there. That's the gem that uh, escaped and wanted to come and join us. So I've got a chain there and I had another chain in a bag as well. What did I do with that one? Don't know what I've done with it. Oh, it's over here. So these are the gems left over from the bee wreath. And as you can see, there's some gorgeous colours. So we just had the three specials. Um, and then we've got a plain silver and the black so yeah it's amazing how those colors have come out and how well that wreath looks with only what have we got nine colors so yeah it was really good to do really enjoyed doing it it was one of those things you think oh shall i start it now or not and yes i did start it now so yeah it got put on uh, these haven't got any gem codes or crystal codes so they're just generic ones for donation hot pink oh dear um, and then I've sorted out, yeah, there's the other chain, look. That one was for the uh, the month sign. As I say, DP clubs do sell the month signs as well. Um, and then these are the specials left over from there. So they go in my jars or bottle, as it is, standards. That's um, an AB white, which is lovely. They're like your fire red rounds. We've got a purple, we've got another fire red. Actually, will that one go in purple or pink? No, I think that one's hot pink. That's a red, that's a red. We're looking red or orange for that one and that's a gold. So let me get my box out. As I say, oh, let me zoom out a bit. Right, uh, this uh, does need sorting out still. Uh, another video maybe. Right, let's get this done then. So yeah, we've done a full kitting down on this one then, haven't we? Um, I could even do a photograph of it stuck on the wall once it's done. <laughs> and then it's start to finish. Yay! Okay, well, almost. Right, so we've no silvers. We've got those, but they're just the standard silvers to go in my jar. Then we've got gold. So we've got three lots of gold. I don't know where I've put my tray. Where did I put my tray? Um, okay, I'll have to use one of these trays. Right. Uh, yep, yeah, I've um, been doing diamond painting at my mum's and I've got a funny feeling that wherever I've put the things I took, my big trays may be in there. Not that I haven't got lots of spares, but at the moment it's actually reaching them. So, this <laughs> we want the uh, large semi-spheres in the gold. So we have a few different colours. Right, okay, so... So, are they all the same size? They are. So, that's that one. Yep, that one can go in with his friends. As I say, no numbers on the uh, May sign either. So, yeah, go me. Actually getting my signs up on the wall in time instead of thinking, oh, no, last minute, like, must get this sign done. Yay, and then that is those. So, that's good. So we'll get these put in here as well. We've got a very big bag of these. I'm going to have to think of something really good to do with these. But there just aren't enough hours in the day at the moment to get everything done that I want to get done. Maybe one day. 
right so now we want teardrops uh yeah if you've not seen my system before i have got lots of kitting down videos and um, it's based on rebecca admore's zest storage system using little bags um to put all your different colors in but i do so many special drills and i'm a real magpie and i'm a, an awful hoarder crafter that doesn't like to get rid of anything so this is why i have so many right now then let me have a look so oh i'm looking in rounds and i want teardrops liz look in the right place i'm just telling you about this system that i've got and then not following it myself yeah for every color that i've got which is silver gold black yellow blue green whatever um i then have um they're all categorized into large rounds which are larger than your standard little crystals um marquees which are your like i don't know leaf shape um like an oval with points on either end and then your teardrops and then all your miscellaneous i think they're actually those yes they are and then if i come across any canvas or any any bag that the gems are in that has a number on it then i put those numbers onto my bags so i'm kitting down none of these had any numbers so at the moment i can't do that right so let's put these into here okay so they're joining all their friends and then if i do um decide i want some extra gems or there's something that i want to add gems to or do my own projects then i've got plenty of spares <laughs> it's one of those things once you start you just can't stop well i've not been able to anyway right the white pearls are in my um in with my ab's the aurora borealis standard size so we've got green next and these are marquees so let's have a look in green marquees i do believe i might have some of these because they are quite a nice shape as a leaf okay just looking at the back there yes i have look at that i've got two oh, huge bags are they? oh no they're slightly smaller so i've got one big bag and a half bag of those so right they can go in with this one put them in the right one liz make sure you've got the right size hang on yeah they are if you if you're ever stuck just look at the backs because you can see the backs um with the size of them to see where they are look you can see that one's a lot bigger than that one hopefully you can with all the shadows and the rain and oh gosh i can't believe it really is raining and there's no wind so it's like stair rods coming down you know really straight so i thought oh no i've got my bedroom windows open because when hubby goes to uh, his dialysis i do like to open all my windows and get a, you know just some fresh air blowing through because he gets really cold really quickly and i'm always a hot bod anyway no not in that way unfortunately i just get really hot all the time um right that's pink and that's purple and these are red so what pink next pink large rounds so i do like to you know just freshen the house up just get some fresh air through but yeah, I ran upstairs because I thought, oh no, all the rain will be coming through the windows. But actually, because it's coming straight down, we've got none coming at all. So, yeah, that's definitely hot pink. Oh, wow, these are all pale, pale, pale. That's a hot, that's a hot. Actually, these are a very dark colour. Let me put them here because the purple's putting me off. Oh, it could be those. Oh, I think it's those. I'll just double check, I haven't got any more. Oh, look at those. They're more sort of ready. Oh, I'll have a look at those as well. And we'll have a look at those. And we'll have a look at those. Goodness, lots of them. I think some of those actually might be the same colour. It um, all depends on sort of the lighting uh, as to what pastels has done. Because if I can't see that something is exactly the same colour, then I tend not to put them in the same bag. But I've got a horrible feeling that these are all the same. They're definitely those um and i think these that i've got here um let me look at those looking close and you see they're definitely a different color but they're those so are these the same as those yes they're those so which ones are these Mm. 
No, I think they're more the yeah, the more of the sort of reddy colour rather than the purpley colour there. So, right, we'll put all those together and I'm going to put these. Look, we've actually got a number for these as well. I must have got overexcited seeing the number. <laughs> oh, look, some greens in here. Right, try and get these pinks out without the greens going in. Oh, no, one's escaped already. I wonder why I did that. Mind you, what past Liz does is just uh yeah you just never know say so how my mind works just um yeah boggles my mind as well oh right let me see if i can get that little green one out there i don't usually bother but because it's um because i've really seen it and he's got quite a few friends over there oh look there's another one as well i must have not emptied this bag properly when i've been doing something or my tray's not being empty or something, and I've ended up with all these greens in with these pinks. Come on, you can go back. Oh no, now I'm spilling. Oh, do you know? Ah, oh, count to ten, Liz. Right. So let me just get those greens out of the way first. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so this is a way actually. Oh, that's oh no, I'm not gonna use that. I was just thinking that's it's oh oh no, it is a pink. It's a way of um testing out these trays, but that's gonna be quite difficult actually to get all your gems to go through the middle, isn't it? I'll just use the corner, that's easier. So oh, come on, look, you two, don't be awkward in you get right. So that's those done. Let me just uh, escort those out of the way and out of that bag. Right, so I've got a spare bag. Excellent. And then these all... Oh, there's another one there, look. There's one trying to hide. You can't hide from me. Well, you can, but you're not going to today. So, right, that's those. That's some purples there. So, let's get all these into this bag now. All together now. <laughs> How to make an easy job more complicated than it needs to be. Try taking out the gems that shouldn't be there in the first place and then throw them all over the desk. Yay! <laughs> and I don't do it on purpose. These things just happen. I am just an exceptionally clumsy person. What can I say? Right. I've just spotted... Oh, this, do you know there's another green in that bag as well? I'm not looking. I am not looking. So now... Oh, right. Let's look in red miscellaneous because that one's an easier one to do. Um, yeah, right, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, right up here. See if we've got a big flower. I don't know whether we have got the big flowers. We've got big hearts and big ovals and big... Oh, we have got the red flowers. So we have got... Yeah, that is the same one. So, right, we don't need another bag. We can um, just add him into there. Okay, so that's that one done. Right, now, oops, that's in the wrong place. Put it in the right place, Liz. I'm not sure. I think I've got those in orange. I don't think because they're more of an orange colour. So I'm just going to get my orange large rounds out. I don't have many oranges. And, yeah, I do believe they are those. They are. So look how full this bag is. <gasps> As I say, I've not made my mind up what I'm going to do with my spare spares of my special drills, my special shapes. Um, so at the moment they are all just in here and some of these bags are exceptionally full. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. I'll make my mind up at a later date. Right, oh, what's that? That's just an orange gem. Right, you can just go in the bin, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay, so we've got teardrops in fire red. So teardrops in red. Teardrops, teardrops, that's my keys. Teardrops, let's have a look. Okay, I do believe they're in here, but we'll... Oh, I think uh, they could be. Could be those. And we've got some there as well. Uh, oh, they're sort of um, ones without any facets on, so they're a different one. They're a bigger one. What's that one then? Oh, that's another one. 
that's elongated ones yeah some of them have got facets some of them hasn't that's another one as well so pop those back in there right let's have a look at these no let's have a look at these <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's those. So why have I got three bags? Mm. Ah, they're definitely, yeah, they're more of a sort of, um, oh, I don't know, they're more of a bluey green, whereas these are more of a red. So they are definitely a different colour, but they are the same colour as those. So, mm, possibly, I don't know, sometimes when I take them out sometimes i think i don't pull all the bags out or maybe it's gone underneath or whatever which is why this must be sorted um yeah right let's get those into there and let's get that into there okay so that's those and then Finally, in this box, we have purple, oh, which matches the purple tray. So we want purple teardrops, and I do believe I've got some of these as well. So purple teardrops in a full colour. Yep, yeah, there they are, right at the back. Teardrops, teardrops, teardrops. So, oops. And pop all those, lots of them left over. Plenty of spares. Oops, don't want to go back in. Right. And then pop this box away because we've finished with this one now. Pop my tray over there. So now I've got to AB pearls. So I do have pearls written somewhere. I did have pearls written somewhere. Oh, there they are, look, they've all got out of line because I've taken one out, I think, and taken it downstairs. I must have done. Yeah, I've got a bottle missing so they're not all lining up properly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's different types of uh, ABs when you get them. These are like the pearls, so there's no facets on them. Um, and I've said before, originally, when I first started uh, kitting down i didn't realize that they were different i just thought they were all the same but actually you do get a very different look with the pearls to the ones with the facets on so i do actually kit those down separately now okay right so that's those to go back away i want that black jar for my black gems i've got so many of these there's just no way they'd go in a box or in a bag so i just keep them in a toffee jar those in there. Go on, last one, get out. Okay. Finally, I have my black and white Scott Twishki jar, which is getting pretty full. Cut that, there's not much left to go there. Wow, you can see it's about there if I tip it that way. And no, I didn't drink the whiskey. It was uh, given to my dad, but on the condition, I actually won it. And I said to my dad, well, I've won this bottle of whiskey and I'm going to let you have it. But I can only give you the contents. I want the bottle. <laughs> what sort of a gift is that? So, yeah, mind you, I suppose it's better than saying um, we'll share it and you can have the bottle and I'll have the uh, insides. <laughs> Right, let's see if I can get these in here. I should have got a tray with a spout. Oh, I've done it. Yay. Only one spill per video is uh, allowed these days. <laughs> Famous last words. Let's have a look at our wreath. Do you know, actually, uh, what length are we at now? Oh, 43 minutes. So we're probably about half an hour. And actually, that is pretty dry have to say uh, it's actually more sticky underneath i must have got some um on the underneath so that needs to dry maybe i will just hang it up to let it dry properly so i don't get any on my desk but look 
So this has now been sealed and look at how sparkly everything is. Even these large ones that I did try and take some of the excess off, um, you know, they're still sparkly. And the round semi-spheres there, look, you can see you've not lost any of your sparkle. It's not dulled anything down. Um, oh, it is, it's practically dry. I, say, I mean, it says half an hour. Well, yeah, that's to sort of make it touch dry. And this is touch dry, so it's not sticky anymore. But I would leave it definitely probably 24 hours or overnight um, to make sure that the gems are properly stuck down and that the sealer has completely cured. Um, because they're just... I can... You know, normally with if you pushed it as hard as that, it would shoot off over there. So there is quite a lot of resistance there, but there is a slight tiny movement still. So it still needs to dry that little bit more. But that is, uh, yeah, I love that. That definitely is going down as one of my favourite completions that I have done. Absolutely love it. I say, and I love the fact that it's got the hangers there so that I know where, where, which way up to put it. Because I'm awful. I get the wreaths, you know, and I put them on the wall and I look at them and I think, does it go that way? And then I turn it another way. And I think, well, maybe it goes that way. But no, this one is definitely that way. And then I say, I've just got my little chain that I can just hang it with. And yeah, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to put this on the wall with command strips. All that I need to decide now is where to put it. Um, just looking, is that... Yeah, it's a little bit textured where the glue... Um, it's a little bit textured. But you not really just see on this wing here. It's practically clear. It's not 100%, but then no sealer is going to give you 100% um, when you're having to fully cover the whole thing because the sticky is on the whole thing because you would end up with br brush marks. But I think maybe that looks a little bit more natural, um, having like more of a sort of a stipple. Well, it's not really a stipple effect. It's not sticking up. A textured effect, I suppose, a very thin texture. So on the whole, it does look clear, but if you look really closely, there is just a tiny bit of texture on it. But on the whole, you know, I'm quite pleased with that. So ones that I get with full coverage glue, I might uh, do that again. I think what I'll maybe have to do is I should have maybe done one half in this one and one half in a different one and done a comparison. But to be fair, I love this so much. I didn't want it to end up looking strange. So I just wanted to use the whole one on it. But that is gorgeous. Look how shiny that is. I can see my camera reflected in that bead little round there. Even with, um, oh, I can see myself. Hello. <laughs> yeah, even with the uh, sealer all over the top of it, it does uh, still very, very shiny. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this completion review sealing and kitting down and then looking at the sealer afterwards as well that's pretty good going in one video uh, thank you dp clubs for sending me this absolutely love it as i say it's going to be one of my favorites uh, if you have enjoyed looking at this with me and love it as much as i do a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and see some more completions and things, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.